the top U.S. and NATO commander in Afghanistan. Stanley McChrystal has this city firmly in his sight. He says that Quetta, the capital of Balochistan, in Pakistan is being used as a base by the Taliban. The Afghan border is just two hours drive down this road. The people who live here have family and tribal ties with the people of Afghanistan and the Taliban. At this roadside tea shop, tribal leader Malik Yasin denies that fighters operate out of his hometown. The real objective is clear. It took them 30 years to destroy Afghanistan. Then they killed our brothers in Waziristan and now they want to bring the war to the south. The real target is the Pashtun people and their leadership. Like most of the people who live here, Mullah Umar, the Taliban leader, is a Pashtun. McChrystal claims that he is here running a special council known as the Quetta Shura. He is using the tribal connections to recruit fighters and generate income. The province's chief minister says that is nonsense. As far as I know, there's no such thing as Quetta Shura. And uh, uh, the Taliban leadership have refuted the claims of the Americans that, uh, that Mullah Umar is not in Quetta. This is what was in the newspaper. And uh, about the drones, so we will condemn any attempt by U.S. forces to send drones in, into Baluchistan. And the chief minister has a threat of his own. The Kandahar road runs through his province. It's a vital logistical link for NATO forces in Afghanistan. They use it to carry fuel, heavy machinery and supplies. The Americans themselves will jeopardize their own logistic routes. So they should be wise enough not to indulge in aggressive activities against any sovereign state. None of the ordinary people in this busy city want to get into a fight with the United States, but many consider Mullah Umar as a hero. And for those that know him, they will tell you that he's not the kind of man who would flee the battleground and come into Pakistan. Many believe that he will not leave Afghanistan before the Americans do. Kamal Haider, Al Jazeera, Quetta.